will not see often stand for Lucky on the penalty killing. I think that's the first, first time all year. In fact, I know it is. Ball played into the box. Stan got a little piece of it by accident, and the shot hit the crossbar. That'll be a penalty shot. I didn't see what had happened. It Somebody hit John O'Hara. I didn't even see it. O'Hara was standing right in the crease, made the save. And you're going to get to see the penalty kick here, I think. Yeah, you're right, by the way he pointed. You're absolutely right on that call. I just never saw it hit Johnny. And I may not see it. Well, well, Stan couldn't yeah. care. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, when things are going bad. How did I miss that? <laughs> that was uh, right there. You were trying to figure out why Stan didn't clear the ball out of the box, probably. <laughs> Look, at Slovo wants a timeout. Maybe he wants to take the penalty. Yeah, kick. he's probably going to go and say, let me take this one. That would really add insult to injury. Slovo will call the timeout, and they'll just want to discuss it. Papalea will face a penalty kick. <laughs> As I recall, is the man who takes their penalty kicks, but they may make Redmond Lane take it. He's got the hot hand. Now, Marty Templin is calling him back saying, you can't call a timeout, apparently, on a penalty kick. It's a dead ball. St. Louis possession. Now, look. Now they're going to say it's okay. This is amazing. No wonder players get frustrated. Earhart Cap says, what's the matter with it the first time? They were not going to let him call a timeout. Marty Templin says, come back here. And then uh, a steamer player says, timeout. He says, okay. I can't figure that. I really can't. Did get the ruling on the Paul Child situation, though, because there was only so much time left in the game. Uh, there's no sense putting that many numbers up on the board. That's the, the ruling there. That's why they started at five, uh, because Paul Child is, you know, he's in the cooler for the rest of the evening. He's so. done. No problem. Now we've got John O'Hara in there to keep him company. They can talk about heading back to Pittsburgh tomorrow morning, getting set for that game tomorrow night against Tacoma. Well, we've seen a little bit of everything so far. Well, including a, a penalty kick. We've seen Stan Trelecki killing off a penalty, and I think the reason why John Kowalski wanted to do that at this point, give people uh, various experience in doing various things, putting Stan out there, that's fine. He could have put anybody else out there. Pittsburgh obviously is not going to win the game. Maybe Stan gets a shorthanded goal, gives the team a little lift. Uh, gives him a chance to to see what it's like out there defensively. I know that Stan has worked sometimes in practice as a defender. John Kowalski has shifted things up. Now this gets the folks fired up. Uh, they're calling for Slobo. Yep, he's going to do it too. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, I don't agree with this. I don't either because uh, as much as I respect Dave Clements, I think it's uh, it's not a good good move to make. You know what they should do? They should put Stan Terlecki. Put him in and as goal. the goalkeeper. I, yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, a crowd pleaser. Either that or not try to block it. One of the two. I just think, what does Joe do? He has no way to win, right? I mean, if he saves it, he stopped the shot from the goalkeeper. I can tell you, Slobo could kick. I saw him do it last year, like I was saying, from 70 feet, he almost scored. And this is a lot closer. So we'll see. Goalkeeper versus goalkeeper, I believe. I believe it's the first time this has ever happened in the MISL. I've never heard about it. Slobo versus Papaleo will let the television set tell the story. Right footed shot, Papaleo the save. And I'm glad he stopped that. And you see the gesture Joe gave. They're upset, and I don't blame them. It was not a classy move by a coach who is normally a very classy man. Redmond Lane to Ebert. Davis, the score. I said six, and then they flashed seven and eight up there. Davis gets the goal. You look at it again. Lane sets it up. B.D. Ebert all alone is Davis. No chance for Papaleo. But I'll tell you, the thing that Joe was happy about was making the save. Uh, what I would say is, is really rubbing it in when you put your goalkeeper out there to take the penalty kick. I think the only reason I didn't call it a bush move is because of my respect for Dave Clements, but it really was. It showed a lack of class. There's a save. Let's see if we can follow it. Papaleo is going to give a gesture. It's not an obscene gesture, so I think we can still stick with it. It's, I know it's a family show, but he was upset. And you might see some words after the game as well with either the Steven players on his face or the bench. Because it's not, uh, it is rubbing it in, as, as you well put it. That's all that it is. 2.14 left. That is uh, a power play 
goal and O'Hara's penalty is now over. 